in today's session we are going to discuss about the data types yesterday we were discussed about the three data types like vectors uh, like data frame and we discussed about the list as well as arrays now in today's session we are going to discuss about the two more data types those are factors as well as about the matrix and then after we will see the small example and we will see the one more lab how do we do it yeah and uh, here the first point is a factor factor is a one of the data type what does it will give you factors will give us the unique levels of a data factors it will give us unique levels of a data just it it as a it give us the distinct for example we have a gender gender will be for thousand records how many uh, how many in the gender how many is the distinct levels like male is the one distinct level female is the one distinct level others is the one more distinct level. like that we have a distinct levels for example some people are attending the iit je exam government of india wants to know from which state uh, what are the states people have been qualified more they want what are the so if i want to understand that point we are going to use the fact i mean we are going to use the distinct levels like andhra tamil nadu maharashtra telangana uh, like that we will do delhi like that we will do and factor function where do we use where in the real time in the real time whenever we are using the deep learning problems whenever you are using the deep learning problems your dependent variable must be a factor function in deep in deep learning algorithms your dependent variable must be a factor variable factor data type in deep learning algorithms your dependent variable must be a factor data type here in this case how do we do how do we do the practical of the factor function very simple and very small like let me open the r studio Please, please put the mic into mute. Here, factor data type creation. Let's say let's say we have the gender variable let's say i am trying to create the gender gender is equal to c of male comma c m of female female comma again i am creating the male again we are creating the female and others here if you look into here what are the distinct levels we have distinct levels as we can see here three types one is a male other one is female and third one is the other other so here how do i write gender one is equal to we have a one function function name is equal to factor factor of gender factor of 
gender it will oh sorry i did not run the first one right gender and gender one the error which i got because i did not run the first gender i did not create the gender vector that is the reason we got an error so how do we get the output when i print the output gender one gender one here first it will give the output as it is like what we have created first it will give the output as it is like what we have created for example here gender we create the male first female second third male again female and other and the levels we have three levels those are female male others here in the levels it will give in the ascending order female may be the last record or may be the first record or a can be always it will give the in the levels it will give the you know ascending order it will give the both it will give the unique levels of a data clear okay factor function will give us the unique levels of a data here in the factor function we have the um, it will give the two out two things first one it will present it as it is like as an in uh, input in the second one it will give us the levels in the levels it will present the data in ascending order that is the meaning of the factor clear everyone any questions about the factor next one will be matrix matrix is a it is a one more data type where do we use the matrix basically matrix is an is a collection of both rows and column if you want to create the matrix if you want to if you want to create the matrix it should be should be total number of number of records equal to number of rows into number of columns number of rows into number of columns basically matrix is a collection of both rows and columns if you want to create the matrix it should be the total number of records is equal to number of rows into number of columns where do we use the matrix whenever you are analyzing the image data image comes under the unstructured data in the image if you want to create the of course whenever you are receiving the image data most of the times 99.99% of the time data we are received in the text file we never images like we never get the direct image always we will get the image into the pixel format like some number they have been allocated for the pixel so we need to convert the pixels into a matrix format then only we can able to convert into the image of course that is the part we will cover again we will cover in the matrix also we are going to use in the deep learning concepts we have a separate as a, as i mentioned we have a deep learning concept like we have one concept called svm there we will use the utility or benefit of the matrix data type here in this case how do we do that here how do i create for example matrix of we have function direct matrix 20 i mean just i'm giving as a 21 static number 
n row is equal to 5, n column is equal to 4. Automatically here, as I discussed, matrix is a combination of both rows and columns. Here, as I, I have taken the static number as the one number, it need to be populated 5 rows versus 4 column. So that is the meaning of 20 we have taken. For example, that is the way one way we have taken the matrix. Second row will be matrix of 1 colon 20. 1 colon 20 means 1 to 20 records. 1 colon 20 means 1 to 20 records. N row will be 5. Again, N column will be 4. I mean, N column will be 4. Here in this case, see, first it will go, it will go to the first row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Second, it will go to 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 23, like 17, like that, it will create. So, only can we create the 5 rows, can't we create the 4 rows and 5 columns? Yes, matrix of the same number we are taking, matrix of 1 colon 20, n, call, n row is equal to 4, comma, n call is equal to 5. In this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 8, 11, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And for example, where do we get the error kind of thing, issues? Matrix of 1 to 18 I have taken. 1 to 18. Number of row is equal to number of call is equal to 5 here how many records we have total 18 records and number of columns and number of rows when I multiplying the number of rows into number of columns how much it will be 20 right 20 yeah it will give an error in matrix 1 to 18 number of rows 4 and number of columns 5 data length 18 is not a subset sub multiple or multiple of the number of rows and number of columns so the main and mandatory point we need to remember always will be uh, number of rows and the multiplication of number of rows and number of columns should be equal to total number of records yeah these are the various data types we have we were discussed now i would like to request all of you let's do a lab Let's do a one lab. Here in the lab, what we are going to do, what we are going to create a salary vector for four employees their salaries are respective 5000 6000 7000 3000 create a name vector four names like Tara, John, Nan, Martin. Create a company name Dream Come True. Dream Come True is a company name and save in it. This is the third one and first to create these three and then after we will do the session, we will do the next topic, I mean 
another lab session within this will continue please write down all here this is the name is the after nan the name is a martin okay next everyone have written these three next fourth point is what we need to do create a new variable create a new variable tax 0.3 in it create a new variable tax 0.3 in it next fifth point will be calculate the net income how do you calculate the net income net income is equal to income minus tax fourth one is create a data frame name salary and create a final is the create a list by using all the by using all the name salary tax company name and net income and the net income final is the net income and i would request all of you please do this as a lab and send me the lab by tomorrow and whatever the things we just written as a lab please do as a homework as an assignment submit it to me tomorrow so everyone will get an idea how to do is it clear guys is it clear okay any questions were on the call Kodi, can you want to show that uh, screen? The last one, I need to copy. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, I removed it. Sorry. The last one is a create a list uh, list data type by using the all the variables like company name, name, salary, and uh, net income, tax. Okay. Now, what are the common mistakes when we are adding up common mistakes? You know, common mistakes. Uh, Sometimes people 
might forget the package names they they don't install the package name directly what they will do they will directly call the library function before first point is before using the library make sure that make sure that the corresponding package corresponding package has installed or not can you please keep the mic into mute if you have a questions please then only on it um, before using the library make sure that the package has been installed or not the second point will be you yeah. add in the numbers let's say yesterday we have a we calculated right that r plus 3 yes as yesterday what we have done yes yes plus 3 yes plus 5 yes minus 3 yes divided by 2 yes divided by 5 yes into 5 those kind of things yesterday. sometimes people might do a mistakes uh, categorical variable like name variable adding the plus 2 plus 3 like uh, name plus 1 name is equal to like uh, data name is equal to c of data science like uh, mm, dream this is the name so what we are going to happen name plus one does it make sense no these kind of mistakes people generally do be careful while attempting the or while using the errors or all these things the common mistakes people generally do while practicing for first time or second time uh, they might forget to install the package but they're trying to use it they will get an error they will try to add the numbers to the categorical variable these general mistakes are common mistake people will do in the now we have a different functions we have in the R how do we get the different functions how do we do that okay uh, hi Kuti yeah I have one doubt yeah tell me uh, how, how can we create a library as a uh, some folder or something like a permanent library like uh, that just, just, I'm about to come to the next point give me two minutes I'm coming um, here in this case next will be let's do a some functions how do we do the functions here in the functions uh, let's say rm is the one function to remove the objects or the tables rm function will remove the objects or tables for example here by using the ls function what are the objects which are presented in the global environment can we see that by using the ls function what are the objects which are presented in the global environment we can see so if i run this we have two things like gender and gender one here in the global environment we have a two things gender and gender now we want to remove that rm of gender so what happens automatically it will be the gender here this means removing the gender variable or object from the global environment removing the gender object from the global environment next will be mm, next let's say 
x is equal to minus 20. What does it mean? Minus 20 value is going to be stored into the x. Right? For example, y is equal to abs of x. Sorry. abs of x. What do you mean by abs of x? abs means absolute value. If there are any negative values are there, it will try to convert them into the positive value. So, what is the y value will be? y will be the plus y. z is equal to x comma y. Then what is the z value? z will be the 0. Next one. For example, log of y. What is the value? Log y value is nothing but log 20 value. Log 20 value is nothing but 2.999. Exponential of 20. Exponential of y. That is the exponential of y means 20 value. And let's say we have a id is equal to C U S T 1 1 2 1 3. So, what we are doing? We are creating the one ID name. Here, some of the C U in the small letters, yes, capital letters, S T in the small letter side. I need to convert the all the small letters into capital letters. How do we do? To upper of ID C U S T C. Like that, what we to convert the two upper means two upper will convert all the strings into capital letters. Two lower means two lower of ID means. To convert them into small letters. Two lower means to convert them into the small letters. Two lower means to convert them into the small letters. And here, what we are going to do the next one substring function. Substring function. Next, let me write down here substring function substring it will it will extract the number of I mean Rika I mean number of letters for example we have function I mean the syntax is sub str id comma 4 comma 10 what does it mean id is the your whatever the text or whatever the string you would like to extract 4 is the starting position 4 is starting position what about the 10 ending position this is the whatever the text or string you would like to extract id means 4 is the starting position 10 is the ending position 10 is the ending position now what we are going to do here how do we do here let's do a uh, uh, practically Here in this case, how do we do? Length of ID means what we will get? Only one ID, only one record it will be. For example, here how many positions we have? C1 position, UN position, 
second position s in third position t in the fourth position one in the fifth position again one in the sixth position and another one is seventh position two in the eighth position one is the ninth position tenth position let's say s u b s t r of i d comma three comma seven what does it mean it will give the third position to seventh position it will give the second third position to seventh for example s u b s t r of i d comma seven comma seven comma nine what does it mean what is the value it will be one two one it means it will extracting the data from seventh position to the ninth position which include the seventh position eighth position and ninth position let's say i want to search particular number is presented or not for example here one is presented right let's say cu ust is presented ust in id we have a, can you see the ust yes everyone can able to now does ust is presented my string or not how do i check we have a grep function grep whatever the you want to check let's say capital ust comma id ust is presented if it is matches it will return 1 if it doesn't matches it will return integer 0 for example grep function is nothing but search function it will search if the it doesn't suggest a particular position if particular word is matches or particular number or particular word is matches it will return 1 if it doesn't matches it will return integer 0 if it doesn't matches it return integer 0 let's say grep of grep of let's say i am searching the 4 id does the 4 is presented in the id does the 4 is present in the id no then what is the output we need to get integer 0 we won't get the 0 here we will get the integer 0 so does it only applicable to the numerical data searching can't it be possible to applicable for the character data yes it is applicable for both numerical as well as character data first we saw the ust is the character data 4 is the numerical data let's say let's search the again one example grep of 1 comma id does 1 is presented yes then what is the output we need to get 1 we need to get the output as 1 is it clear guys and uh, one more best example suppose now everyone is getting a doubt for example what we need to uh, let's say i am working on one project ideally one project cannot finish in one single day it will take multiple of days sometimes it will take more than five months sometimes it will take one year also so uh, what happens let's say in a day in a day means we ideally works eight hours in a day in a day eight hours in this case what happens let's say in a day eight hours i can able to assume that i can able to create the five data sets five data set is nothing but five different tables now uh, each and by default each and every data set is going to be stored in the global environment and uh, now I, unfortunately if i close this session what happens can i get can i get this back can i retrieve these data sets no we cannot retrieve the data set so what i need to do every day when i going home we need to save our data sets all kind of information for that what we have here in the session we have a save workspace save workspace yes. save workspace is nothing but here go to the any location and keep your file name what does it mean for example let me save this session so, go to the session save work as let me save in the desktop like uh, uh, r basics 
or basics. Let me save this one. See, save image. It will be stored in the form of our data. Let me, let's say here, does it create it? Where is that? Is it created? One second. Here in this case. Okay. Let me create in another way like uh, save workspace as. Let me create the in C drive somewhere like that. So our basics. I could be. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, what is the type? Save workspace as uh, in below the uh, I'm, type. I'm showing that. Just give me a second. I will show you that. Here in the code, it can be stored as a R data. Can you see this? R basics dot R data. Whatever we are saving the workspace, it is going to be stored in the form of R data. Again, once you come to the office, first to open the R studio, then what you need to do, go to the session. Here you have a load workspace is there. Click on the load workspace, wherever you have saved yesterday. Okay. Here this is R basic. So automatically you can get all this. Here load the load of your location. Or even you close this one, do not save. Go to the R studio. here once it opens perfectly here go to the sessions load workspace wherever you are stored like work see automatically you get all these things without doing anything just automatically we load the workspace automatically you'll get your all data sets of course we did not create the data set whatever we have created we created these only gender one id all these things this is how we will get it is it clear guys anyone having doubt about this any questions about this how to store the workspace of course by using the workspace only we can store about all our data sets on everything huh? default it will go store into the temporary memory but once you close your R session it will not you cannot retrieve it back so you are working in a project, you need to continuously store the, all these things. And any questions about this? Uh -huh. Class of ID will be a character. Can you check it? Class of ID character. Because it is a, we write in the strings, right? Strings definitely will be a character data. Any questions about this? And even if you have anything help about the package or function name, suppose substring. Sub str is a one function which I have used now. If you want to understand, go to the help tab and you can search here. Substring of a character, how do we do? Start first, last record. How do we do all these things? We will check it. In other way around, we can also use like this. Help of Sebastian. So help of Sebastian also it will give the same results. Other way around we can also use question mark Sebastian. Close all. Let's say Sebastian. Again it will give the same results. We will get the help in three ways. One is the help of that one. Second one is a question mark substring. Also, we can write the double question mark also, right? Double question mark also will give the same results. Double question mark also will give the same 
results about that function and even you fourth option is the go to the help tab and whatever the function you want to understand in detail about the function how they created what are the arguments we have in that function go to the help tab and here we have a search button type whatever you want to search it that is how we will understand about the thing this is all about your r basics now in r basics let me summarize the r basics what we have discussed what do you mean by r environment what are the different windows we have in the r environment what are the different uh, data types like numeric and the character and what are the ways we can create the different data like vectors arrays data frame list matrix as well as a factor and what are the common mistakes we generally do and what are the different functions we have which are numerical function of course we are going to get many number of functions so far going forward and just as a basics we have seen it now still we haven't done anything in the point of importing the data we haven't done anything in the point of how do we import the data what we have done just simply we have creating the factor but in the as a data scientist your ultimate goal is to do an analysis you are not going to do analysis with the like uh, i'm creating the manually fire records and tendric what you are going to do you are going to get a data set from the external sources from there you would like to import the data into your tool and you have to start your analysis for that how do we go how we are going to do it here let me clear the, all this so i want to clear the console here can everyone see the import data sets in the environment tab everyone can able to see the import data sets here in import data sets we have a various things like from text base from text of base what does it mean it is going to it is trying to import the text data from text reader it means it uh, import i mean it reading the data as a csv file from excel means importing the data in the form of excel from sps sps is the one uh, software like uh, like our sps is one tool which is developed by the ibm from the if there is a data in the sps that is also you can import. from sas sas is a one more tool like as a r tool so data is created in the sas how do you import the sas data into r stata is the one more tool let's first import the csv file from text reader first try to import the csv file into r how do we do go to the browse and wherever your file location here in the for example i want to import the data called product sales okay in the product sale how many variables we can see here the first two just in the when i click on the product sale uh, here it will ask the path location browse means here it will tell us the where is our file is located the location you need to give and automatically it will show us the data preview data preview is nothing but it will show us the sample data of course it will show us the some number of preview it will show us the first 50 entries in the preview it will show us the first 15 here in the import options here in import option name of the data set here name of the data set here the name of the data is the product sales right here we want to keep as your wish like we want to keep the sales also you can keep the sales skip skip is equal to zero skip means how many rows it need to be skip for example if i skip the 10 what does it mean it is going to skip the first 10 rows skip of zero means it is skipping the rows skip of for example i mentioned the 10 that means it is, is going to skip the 10 first 10 rows only I am not going to skip it. First row has the name. Ideally, when I am importing the data, first row will be our column headers. Column header means column names. So, always first row has the names. If I did not mention the first row as names, what happens? Let's see. Here in this case, it happens. But it will take as a variable. I will show you in the next example. I will show you this. What happens if I did take the first row? Trim spaces. Any spaces like uh, trailing blanks are 
leading blank trying and leading blank means before word for example let's say we have a one word start of the words are called as a trying end of the words are called as the leading sorry uh, reverse vice versa and to remove those spaces in between the words those are called as the trim spaces open data viewer means yesterday we saw the view option do you remember the view option in the view v is the capital so to look into that we are going to use the open data viewer here we are importing the csv means comma separated value so delimiter we are going to use the comma separated value here codes we don't have any default codes configure means date name what we need to date format what time zone we need to keep all these things will be in the configure i am not going to escape anything nothing none comment will be like by default mention or not mention by default comments as we are writing with the hash and yes if there are any missing values in our data by default it is going to be stored as an na values here by default values like uh, na null zero empty but uh, preferable is the na only because we have a some function to check the null value here the code preview we will get the code preview import here this is the data here global environment data sales 467 observation with two variables here here when you look into here it will take the library reader library reader is the one of the package by default it has been installed with the r2 as i mentioned that in the first day when we are importing the r2 how many packages by default it will be import 30 packages out of 30 packages read are also is the one of the packages sales is equal to read underscore csv that means reading the csv file into r and the location of the file and uh, these are the column names age is the call integer brought is also call integer view is equal to means to view the data as a table this is the view any everyone is clear or confusion any questions about how do we import the data into let me go with a one more example so that you get clarity okay again from text reader just and click on here file or url it is asking the browsing the location browse let's say wherever your file is let's say i want to import the air passenger air passenger as the here file or url is the location of the file location of the file data preview is nothing but here we have a various data preview like week number passengers and promotion these are the various column and when you look into the here pa integer or uh, double all these things will be the already week is the character and delayed cancel flight is the character intermittent flight is the character like this and here name air passenger right we can keep air passengers or if you want we can change the name of the data set if you want you can change the name of data set to a do you want to skip any rows yes first row as the name for example remove this one okay what happens let's see trim spaces means uh, removing the leading and open data where this and import the everything remaining everything is the comma see see it will give the let's say it has opened the eight data set first one if i did not mention the first row as names if we did not mention first row as names what will they get it will take the variable names of x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 first row as the week number as we see the week number right it will take the week number in the first row does it correct no so it is not the correct so what we need to do let me import the one, the same data set with the other name let's say import the 
air one. Let's say air one. I am keeping first row as the names. See the difference in the air one. It is considering as the row names are the weak number. But in the air x one x two. What is the difference between the two? Yeah, we did not consider first row first row as the names. But that is the reason we always keep selected mark pick mark as the first row as names. Clear? The rear one is the weak number passenger solves. This the air is the wrong answer and the air one is the correct one. No, it can be unstructured also. Now we are dealing only structured data, right? No, it will be this. It will be keep separate. Let me import the one more Excel sheet. How do we import by using Excel sheet? Here, first browse the location again okay? as as usual, right? And here the location. Sorry. Here, World Bank indicators. In whenever we are importing the data set like Excel sheet, when if you look into the Microsoft Excel sheet, by default, how many sheets does we have? Three sheets will be there. By default, it will consider as the first sheet as the by default sheet. By in Excel sheet, we have the three different sheets. By default, it will consider first sheet as the Excel. Here in this case, first location and data preview. Import names is the World Bank. Let's keep as the bank. Here everyone is see the uh, sheets like default. Here default is the data by country. If I choose the data by country, again the same only. Here region and sub regions. Automatically see my data changing. See everyone. If I select the now region and sub region, how many variables I do have? Three variables. If I select the data by country, how many variables are? Of course, it is more than three. That means automatically I can able to choose whatever the data set we want. I mean, whatever the sheet we want. And ranges from how many from how many how many variables to how many variables I require. Maximum number of rows how many? Do I need to skip? And NA means by default missing values are going to be stored as and yet first row as names open data where means opening up once data has been table has been created by using the view function it is going to be opening and this is the code preview here read excel long data uh -huh. 64,000. Yeah. Yeah, read Excel is also. And one more most important point. First time when you're trying to import the import data set, when you click on the first time import data set, or when you click on the read or make sure that you connected with the internet. By default, three to five packages is going to be installed. Out of that, one package also going to be installed is the read Excel package. When you are first time connecting to the, I mean, when you first time trying to import the data by using the import wizard, what you need to do, you connect with the internet. When you connect with the internet, we have a like uh, these things, anything, click on anywhere, automatically is going to be installed the five packages. Out of that one package, the reader, read Excel, these are the like five packages are there. It is going to be installed. But make sure that you have a internet connection with you. The bank is the the function is read excel read underscore excel means reading the excel data and file location here sheet is equal to whatever the sheet name you can keep the sheet one sheet two sheet three also view is equal to bank but 
you cannot import the multiple sheets at a time you can able to import the one sheet at a time for example in excel sheet we have three sheets sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 you cannot able to import the multiple sheets at a time you can able to import the one sheet at a time okay any questions about the import about the excel as well as csv questions Any questions for the call? Cody, yeah. now you, you showed how to Im, uh, import the data huh? um, through the manual process. Is there any way to do this process by using the script itself? Script, in, yes. Here one directly you can use this function like uh, for example you want to import the CSV file. How do you import? Let me show you that also importing the I mean importing the CSV file into R. how do we do for example let me go with the data sets let's say any data set we take let's say let's take the fiber bits okay uh, this data set is located is a fiber bits is equal to read dot csv or read underscore csv and file location what is the file location here you need to use the window style kind of path doesn't consider like uh, fiber bits dot csv see fiber bits data has been created with one lakh observation and nine variables fiber bits let's open the fiber bits here one lakh observation with nine variables it has been created for this we need to read the library right ah uh, no no required by default automatically you read it for the csv all these things doesn't require for excel only we... for excel we need to import it will the it will import the library right? yes for only excel we require that also library read excel for the excel only for remaining we doesn't require any package to inst i mean to install and one more important point I would like to mention Greek can you keep, please keep mic in mute uh, here one more thing here if you want to import the data by using the script or by using the command you window style path doesn't work for example sales is equal to just as an example like a read dot csv like file location c double colon data like excel i mean like abc dot csv okay for example sales is equal to read dot csv c drive colon data colon abc csv this is the not the correct way if you want to use the backward slashes use the double black or single i mean sales is equal to read dot csv c colon backslash data backslash abc dot csv this is the correct this window style kind of path doesn't work in R 
window style kind of for present work.